South Africa in the black shorts. And the younger champion, undefeated at the moment. The 24-year-old Korean normally fights out of Seoul, Korea, his hometown. Has only once before stepped onto foreign territory. But he must feel pretty happy because he's in Los Angeles. There's a lot of expatriates around the ring here in Los Angeles. Kim missing badly. And the Tura making him miss and using his feet well. as being a real street fighter makes no bones about it and he's expecting the South African to box him in round one. Twenty-five seconds to go in round one. It's Matabula who is doing the footwork, keeping out of trouble, making the champion miss. That left uppercut from the champion is certainly one to watch as the bell goes for the end of round one. A very even round, little in it filling each other. One could hardly separate the two boxes. Here we go back to an early part in the round. And watch out for Matabula's left. Well, we saw the uppercut there as well. Peter Terra Matabula, he's 28 years of age from Ranford Team, South Africa. He's managed by Bobby Toll and his trainers Willie Locke. And the champion, managed by Kim Kyo Shu. Well, you can hear some of the Koreans from Los Angeles. They reckon there's some 250,000 Koreans in Los Angeles. You're hearing a good 2,000 of them screaming for their champion that they love. And Kim has certainly looked better coming out in round two. And that is Matabula's right, he's right next to his chin there. His guard is well up. As Kim has that hooking left. Antonio Cervantes in Mabatu when he fought there for the world title he used to throw his whole body behind his punches and there's moments here that Kim does the same the Korean crowd ro roaring him on in this second round the Koreans aggression is paying dividends in round two. Halfway through. Now 
a good round for the champion. Got a good right uppercut, the champion, and that swinging right also, which is a little bit wild. Matabula is trying to jab the champion away with that left. Oh, there we are. That's the time left in round two, which has been a good round for the champion. to the champion Tai Shik Kim who weighed in at 50 comma 3 the world flyweight champion WBA and let's have a look at the record of these two flyweights dinky boxes the champion has had 15 fights. He's won 14. 11 of them on knockouts. That gives you an idea of what a street brawler he is. Look at that left uppercut and right going in. Dynamic little boxer. He's lost one bout. South African has been caught with a few blows in the first three rounds. Matabula on the left in the black trunks has had 34 fights. He's won 29. 14 KOs and he's lost five. champions left a great part of machinery 55 seconds to go as you can see in the bottom right Matabula using his left to a good advantage shouting for in Los Angeles and Peter Teramatabula was kept waiting some 20 minutes in the ring before round one while the champion made up his mind about what gloves he was going to wear very unnerving for the South African on round three and there's a good right from Matabula gets through the defense of Kim and that right taken on the arm of Matabula and there's the bell for round four
two very close together their heads. Marabula coming back strongly in round four and a good left from the champion. Oh, what a great start to this round from both boxers. the champion who is edging in front now. Oh, there's a bit of head going in then. And keep up those punches. from the champion that's got the Koreans on their feet well, Matabula took it well but he took it oh I love the way this champion Kim comes in with his body he gets that whole body in that right as he comes in his whole weight goes behind it he's boxing superbly in this round didn't get into that the fans thought it had got home but the weight didn't get right behind that and Madabul actually rode the punch quite well 55 seconds to go in this thrilling round round four champion must be certainly pleased with this round A bit of blood there on underneath Matabula's right eye. Now these two have got very close to each other with both heads and gloves in this round. And now the challenger coming back strongly at the end of this round. Not much time left. great round superb round for the champion and the challenger fought back well but undeniably the champions round from korea the world flyweight champion let's have a look at that action again a superb left but a great right cross from the champion and are trying to get through with that left and keep him away and he does so well and the bell's gone for round five trainer for the South African Willie Lock having to do a bit of work on the right eye for Mandibula with blood coming out of it and there was some great footwork from the challenger getting out of the corner he was in a tight spot then a very clever defensive work. that bulge under his right eye. There's a lot of puffiness and a little bit of blood. It's worth watching how the champion is made to miss on several occasions by the superb footwork and bobbing and weaving of the challenger. Good left from the champion, Kim. must be very aware of the power punching that the champion has his record speaks for itself since 
1978, the fights have gone like knockout in three, knockout in two, knockout in one, knockout in five, knockout in two, knockout in five, knockout in four, knockout in two, and a win in 13. 15, rather, that was the title defense. So you can see Kim puts them away pretty quickly, but he hasn't managed to put the challenger down or even hurt him yet, but there's blood coming from that right eye of Matabula. Who appears to be biding his time, hoping his stamina is stronger and making the champion do the work and sap his energy. There's the timing for you in the bottom right. Champion looks so good in close quarters. Manabula not doing much about it, prepared to take it. And there's the bell for the end of round five. Again, the champion's round. And certainly in these first five rounds, although the South African challenger has put up a very game battle, has shown a lot of courage, the champion has edged forward on points. estimated 2,663 people have paid to watch this fight spending some 27,000 rand challenger has a reach advantage as well I'm sure he's trying to use that with his left keep Kim away right from the Korean. You all almost feel that on my own jaw. And he's took one himself there from Matabula. Good right. That's swelling underneath the challenger's right eye. Which trainer Willie Locke has managed to patch up well between the rounds. footwork from the challenger. champion must feel almost as if he's at home <laughs> South African boxer is really coming to light in this round with his footwork his boxing craft you see that Korean's head being knocked back quite sharply on occasions not much of this round left. And although the champion started very strong in this round, it's the challenger who's come back stronger. But now the champion again. Another good round. Tremendous boxing. But the champion's done quite a bit of missing too. A very good round and very much an even round. Round six. the Korean commentators not that ecstatic at this moment but they must think at this stage that the champion is certainly on top points wise just a couple of points ahead as the bell goes for the beginning of round seven many South Africans listening in and wondering whether this 
could possibly be the first South African black boxer to win a world title. Of course, there have been two other South Africans who've won world titles. As the Korean puts on the pressure, perhaps one shouldn't talk about it. Arnold Taylor in 1973 and Vicky Tawil in 1950. Matabula trying to make it a hat-trick for South Africans. And one must add that this would be the first time a South African could ever win a world title fight outside South Africa, being worn there, Kim. Watch that head. No South African has ever won a world title on foreign soil. Los Angeles soil is not that friendly to the challenger tonight. <laughs> Halfway through, round seven. That was a stunning right from the champion. Stinging blows there. He manages to get out of the trouble. And this is the talent of the South African, but he's actually able to sway away and make the champion miss when he was getting quite severe punishment. He came back with a very good right. Now he's boxing well. superb contest between these two Korean and South African nothing in the weights a mere comma five kilos weight advantage to Terra Matabula oh he's coming in beautifully with left and right and look at the hand speed now the champion knows he's up against something he's dished out a lot of punch but now he's on the receiving end but he's not finished either Another magnificent round to watch. Well, there's the champion, and he certainly felt it. And you'll see Matabula coming in now with lefts and rights and the champion's head going back in slow motion. Look at that right. And again, the uppercut. And the challenger taking the initiative in this round. And some of the Koreans in the background visibly worried. The bell for round eight. Sort of bouts don't come every day. Memories of Sugar Ray Leonard and Roberto Duran. The sheer entertainment, skills, excitement. Oh, look at the hand speed of the South African now. performance and the champion trying to fight his way out of trouble there urged on by the home crowd feeling that Kim needs the encouragement but he's certainly getting it good left from the champion from Kim. Manabula's eyes bleeding and it's swollen that right eye. He started the round so well and now the champion coming back. Halfway through, round eight. Now, both boxers giving everything they've got and look at the way Manabula gets out of it off the ropes. How many 
fights have you seen where you've been screaming for action? It just doesn't stop between these two. Two superbly fit boxers. Another amazing round. And just a little time left, as you can see, in the bottom right of your set. That caught Matabula and stung him into action. End of the round. The bell at the end of round eight. Let's have a look at that again in slow motion, some of the action. And you see Matabula, the great hand speed in slow motion, it's almost unbelievable. But Kim fights back. Impossible to separate them in round eight. South African challenger from Lampertine, Johannesburg. From Korea, the champion. Tai Shik Kim, the knockout specialist, who won his last fight over 15 rounds of title defense against Arnel Arozal. And the champion quickly into action in this round. And Matabula is going backwards, but look at his footwork. The crowd are absolutely amazing. If ever a champion needs needed support, he's getting it. It's a non-stop screaming, hysterical shouting. Well, those blows aren't getting through. Matabula's defense is immaculate at this stage. champion in the first half of each round that shows more aggression and certainly throws more punches and then the South African appears to warm a little to the occasion it's been a good round for Kim the champion has to land one blow in this frenzy. for the first time in the bout that both boxers have taken a little rest and I don't think anybody will take that away from them. They've given everything. They're into round nine. And there's the bell for the end of round nine. South Africa, the challenger, and it's the champion that's out on his toes immediately for the bell for the beginning of round 10.
from the challenger. Matabula has been a little quiet in the last two rounds. Coming back a bit now. in the crowd shouting, come on, Peter. <laughs> Metabula certainly looking menacing. He's picking off his punch as well. Often missing. Well, I have the champion ahead on points at the moment, but certainly in this round, the challenger has been the dominant force. Kim missing badly. getting a boxing lesson in this round. Superb lefts and rights from Matabula. This left jab is really something to watch. Not much left in this round. And the Koreans sensing that Matabula is having a good round and they're whistling for the end of the round. You can't beat the clock. good round for the challenger Matabula without any doubt his round round 10 now Willie Lock having to work on this eye which is bleeding underneath the right eye Peter Matabula has won 29 of his 34 bouts the bell for round 11 and an absorbing contest there were some critics who actually tipped the challenger to take the title. And so far, at this stage, I don't think anybody would like to really predict. It's so very close. Oh, good footwork from Matabula, going in and making the champion miss, which he does again. showing his ring craft is certainly superior and his boxing technique in the last two rounds has been way ahead of the champion this may take your memory back to 1977 when he fought Freddie Hernandez in Johannesburg and he took a hiding it's the only overseas boxer he's fought he is a tough man What a round again from the challenger. Just under a minute to go, as you can see. champion must be a little bit worried that some of his power punching has not affected the challenger one bit. And when I say not affected him, obviously that eye must be very sore, but never once have I seen the challenger look groggy or the champion. The 
Koreans urging Kim on as he finds some new resources after taking a bit of a boxing lesson earlier on. Terrific round, it's hammer on tongue from both boxers, and Manabula must shade the round because it was for two minutes that he was really going ahead. Kim came back towards the end of the round. We're into round 12. pick up some varying strange sounds on our sounds effect mic but I tell you with a crowd like this and the wind howling around you get all sorts of noises well at the beginning of round nine I had the champion ahead by three points at the end of round 11 I make it only one point in it at this stage with Manabula coming back very strongly Manabula's left, straight, right from the shoulder. Let's see, watch Kim's head being jolted back. too many effective punches you'll notice it's way back in February the 1st 1980 when Luis Ibarra was knocked out in round two and lost his title to the present champion on the left of your picture defense of the title and hoping for a, another successful defense tonight against the South African challenger who is really boxing well. Look at that sore eye, look at uh, Madabule, that eye is not good at all and Kim certainly notices it and gets a left through onto it. making the champion miss time and time again as the bell goes for the end of round 12 and the bell again for round 13. The last round was a very, very close affair. Not very many punches thrown by either fighter and hard to separate the two. can be won now because there's precious little in it the one with the stamina the greater boxing skill South African boxing hopes have been raised so high in the last few years with Kali Kunatsa Pangaman Sekapani 
Kelly could see her, only to always be dashed. And here is a South African putting up a mighty performance, as did Bushy Bester against Kalule in Denmark recently. that are really getting through are coming from the challenger in this round. Seems to be superbly fit. Lots of energy remaining in both boxes. But the champion not quite as agile as he was. And missing badly. stamping and screaming for the Korean as they come to the end of this round. But he seems to lack the skill to penetrate the challenger. And there's the bell for the end of round 13. Peter Teramatabula from South Africa shading the champion. Willie Locke encouragement looking after that eye there's two rounds to go and i can i can't separate them now not as significant as the Kerry kutsia mike weaver fight but i certainly find it significant that it is the black south african who is looking the stronger and the more aggressive and showing the finer techniques towards the second half of the bout and there was a a knock on Kim's head which I think he felt might have come from Manabula's head missing very badly the champion three judges for the fight we have Jim Jim Kim from Korea and from America, the referee Terry Smith and Rudy Jordan. And the challenger receiving a couple of blows there as Kim is trying to fire now. He feels possibly this fight may be slipping from him. left from Matabula which zips through Kim's defense time and again I must say it's good to watch this champion too one would rather like to see him land a few of those uppercuts but I'm sure this South African wouldn't like to hear me saying that but it's a it's a good blow and he uses it well again that left coming on to Kim's chin. One minute left. And Matabula looking strong. And now Kim coming back. And we see there Matabula staggers slightly. The Koreans are really getting behind the champion. But Manabula had a very good first half of the round. But he took a crunching right in that round. But Manabula has paced himself well. He's keeping out of trouble. coming back very strongly at the end of this round and Manabula is not fighting back he's just keeping out of trouble as the bell goes after taking a bit of punishment earlier on well it all happens here now 
with one round to go. South Africans wondering, will they have their third world champion, who would be the first ever black South African champion. And Tim hoping for a successful defense. Screaming for the champ. Trying to get him to finish off Matabula, but Matabula's still got plenty left in him, as you can see the way he's dancing around. And it's the challenger that's giving it all now. Challenger in this round 15, where you'd expect the champion to be giving everything now as we're halfway through round 15. And this is really an outstanding round for Matabula. Clapping and cheering for Kim. Los Angeles crowd really getting behind him. Wow, what a great round for the challenger. Kim has only come into it momentarily, twice in the round. He's been all the challenger. seconds there, just under, in round 15, the WBA World Flyweight Championship bout, Piotr Matabula from South Africa, against Tai Shin Kim from Korea, and the Koreans in Los Angeles shouting their champion home on their feet, but it's Matabula that's put up a great show in this last round, the bell goes, and the champion puts up his ring and Willie Lock has decided for himself that he thinks that Matabula has won the round. And the title. We're waiting for the judges for the score sheet. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll read the scores to you. First of all, the judge, Jen Kidd. Kim, 145. Peter Metabula, 141. One judge to the champion. Listen to the cheering. The second judge, Jordan. Kim, 143. Metabula, 145. Metabula by two points. So far, it's a split decision. And the referee, Terry Smith. Kim, 143. Metabula, 145. There's a new world WBA flyweight champion, the South 